She's the middle-class girl from the home counties of England whose charm and commitment have finally won the hand of a prince. She's Catherine Elizabeth Middleton, a girl who's long dreamt of a special romantic destiny. Her childhood was a comfortable one. This is the Middleton family home in rural Berkshire. The woman answering the door is her younger sister, Pippa. Kate went to the local prep school, St Andrews in Pangbourne. She was undistinguished academically, unlike her younger sister, P. Middleton, whose scholarship is recorded on the school wall. Kate, by contrast, shone on the sports field. Then after public school at Marlborough, where it said she kept a photograph of Prince William on her wall, she headed off in the young prince's footsteps. It's not generally known, but in 2001, Kate went off to Chile on precisely the same Rally International Adventure course that William had attended just a few months earlier. Even then, she seemed to have set her sights on something special. She had a certain aura, she had a certain demeanour and a certain maturity that made her stand out slightly from the other venturers. She was extremely attractive, she was extremely popular, um, and she was a, a great member of the expedition. But she was always very in control of herself and um, impeccably behaved, one has to say. William by then had decided to go to university in St Andrews, a town on the remote coast of Fife in Scotland, best known of course for having one of the most famous golf courses in the world. Kate had also decided to go to St Andrews. She'd also picked exactly the same course as the Prince, History of Art. St Andrews is a small, closely knit community, an ideal place for William who was desperate for privacy and an ideal place for students to get to know one another. We gave them four years of normal life, four years in which they could get to know one another, free of intrusion, glare, publicity. We gave them four years in which they could find themselves and find one another. This was the moment Kate Middleton first caught the public eye, modelling at a student fashion show. She appeared in several different outfits, most memorably in this one. Watching it all from a front row seat, which had cost him £200, was William. At that stage, very few people knew that what had started as a student friendship was developing into something much deeper. Of course. Jules Knight, who's now a member of the singing quartet Blake, was a history of art student alongside William and Kate. He was a close friend and saw the start of the romance. I think he, he just took a shine to her, really. Um, spent a lot of time together and, and were very good friends for a long time. And I think then that blossomed into something more. Um, and it's not surprising, really, because Kate's a fantastic girl. You know, she's, she's very beautiful. Um, she's, she's got a lovely smile. And she's got a lovely manner about her. Um, and I think that friendship obviously turned into something else. Sophie Butler was Kate's hairdresser. No, they were definitely quite discreet. There was quite a few um, girls around Prince William and they were his friends, so if Kate was a friend as well, we couldn't have guessed that she was his girlfriend, you know. They, they had a really good, strong um, group of friends and some of them were girls, so I wouldn't have guessed that Kate was his girlfriend. As far as possible, they lived normal student lives. Kate even worked for a time as a waitress in a local restaurant. They lived together first in this flat in Hope Street in the centre of St Andrews. Later they moved to this remote farm on the outskirts of the town. They were careful not to draw attention to what was happening, but by now, among their friends and in favourite bars and restaurants, people could see that they were a couple. They were just very much boyfriend-girlfriend. I mean, they seemed very normal, they seemed, you know, um, they, were, they were happy in each other's company. It was more the fact that they just seemed so comfortable with each other. And, and she again, appeared, uh, you know, very normal in that aspect. She wasn't, she didn't seem to be trying too hard. She wasn't dressing up to, you know, up to the nines. She was just a normal girl who got on well with her boyfriend and that was that. They were two people who genu genuinely got on very well. Um, and I think um, they made each other laugh and, and had a really good time. And, and you know, th that blossomed. On the same day in June 2005, they graduated. Catherine Middleton. Kate had finished with a good degree. She'd also encouraged William in his studies, particularly at the end of the first year when he'd seriously thought of leaving university. William Wales. In the end, they made it together. 
Some, though, thought that the relationship wouldn't survive the transition from university to the wider world. And William, at times, was dismissive of Kate's importance to him. In Closters, just before his father's wedding to Camilla Parker Bowles, William was asked about his own romantic intentions. Could there be another wedding, perhaps, on the card sometime soon? <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I don't think so. A couple of days later, William told a reporter that he didn't want to marry until he was in his late twenties or even thirty. This was a prince who'd made it clear he wouldn't be rushed into anything. I really do want to be in control of my own life and, you know, I, if, if I don't agree with what someone's saying or, or someone's pushing on me, then I, I won't do it. By 2006, the relationship seemed to be on the firmest of ground, so much so that on the day William passed out from his officer training course at the Royal Military Academy Sandhurst, his special guest was his girlfriend. Kate Middleton stepped confidently onto the public stage at an event attended by the Queen and other senior members of the royal family. Then in April 2007, the couple unexpectedly split up. William reportedly said that all the fun had gone out of the relationship. For Kate, the pressure was considerable, yet she's already shown that she has what it takes to cope with the strains of life within the royal family. She's frequently been tested by the paparazzi and kept her cool. William overcame his doubts, and a few months after the split, the romance resumed. Kate accompanied William when he received his RAF wings at Cranwell. They looked like a young couple moving towards a long-term future together. Those who've known them since they first met at St Andrews University say they're a good match. You are having seen them at the beginning of their relationship, I see them as a couple and I do think they suit each other and they certainly look very happy. We've seen them in a few parties here in St Andrews and they always strike us as, it's hard to say that, but as normal people because they are, I mean, you know, Prince William also is lovely and really down to earth, very shy as well, so, you know, I think they really suit each other, definitely. The one criticism of Kate Middleton has been that for all her educational advantages, she's chosen to leave a somewhat aimless life since university. She did join an all-woman rowing team for a cross-channel charity race, but withdrew in the face of media attention. She's only had one proper job, working briefly for the fashion business of a family friend. Much of her recent life has seemed to revolve around regular holidays with William and her social life at parties and nightclubs and charity events. Sometimes she's gone alone, as she did on this occasion to a roller disco, but usually she's been with William. If he's playing polo, she's invariably in the crowd, often doing her best to keep a low profile. Year after year, Kate has quietly been at William's side, supporting him in his career as an RAF search and rescue pilot. Now she will have to step out in her own right as a royal princess. Friends believe she's up to it. I think her character is perfectly suited to the role that she will now have. I mean, she's a, a very sensible girl, um, but she's also incredibly loving and caring, and I think that's very important. Um, I think it's probably very important for Will as well, and it's probably one of the most attractive things about her, her sort of generosity of spirit. Um, and I think that'll stand her in, in very good stead. She's, she's someone who doesn't complain. She just gets on with stuff. and. Um, I think she'll deal with the position she's in incredibly well. Very soon she will be a princess, and in due course, as William's wife, she will be Britain's queen. She's already had a limited introduction to what life as a royal is like, but it will be as nothing to what she will now face for the remainder of her life. She's a young woman who's said to be grounded and sensible, and above all, she and William seem, after the ups and downs of their years together, to be compatible, and genuinely committed to each other. Nicholas Witchell, BBC News.